So what is better than a purge build in October? A spooky purge base in October. So I got this mission from Funcom as one of their creators in the creator program to do a showcase of a favorite purge build. So today we are gonna build um, Asylum, haunted house, perch bill, something something. For this build, you're basically only gonna need the black eyes build set that comes with the main game. But I am also using Storm Glass from Isle of Sifta DLC. You don't need to use it, but that's what I'm using if you're interested in making ex this exact same build. So I prepared the outline of the build so it's easier for you guys to see. The base build uh, is eight by five and then I added triangles to um, make some front towers so it doesn't look as flat. And then four here for the entrance. Uh, I want to make a um, wall around basically and I wanted I wanted to do like you get the graveyard feel for it or asylum um, courtyard feel but we don't have gates so I had to improvise so I add, added the triangle bits right here in the center so we can line up some walls or gates and um, door frames and doors uh, here to kind of uh, make it look like there is gates so we can start with the wall so we are using i am using mostly um black eyes the black eyes uh, is a tier three um build set that you get from from the main game so no dlc needed for that one i decided to go with the isle of sifta's storm glass for the base of my structure as you can see here that's storm glass but that's completely like you don't need to do that actually it's more that I wanted the different elements for the floors um, but we're gonna start with uh, the wall I kind of wanted to taper off like about here maybe so we do the same here So the front towers I want to be three high. Let's see if it wants to do it. Three high, so we can start with that. And then I want to do uh, in the front at least, or maybe, yeah, in the front we are gonna do every other, um, <clears throat> every other window, every other regular wall. So let's do that. Oop, what did we have that? Oi. Fix that. And this let's go and then we are gonna use the reinforced wooden wall in between oi 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 today i'm having some issues with snap points clearly there we go three i think three is good uh, and the back towers, I want to be uh, uh, way taller. So I, for some reason, I always go towards like a typical castle build with uh, two lower front uh, towers and, and two higher towers in the back kind of build. Uh, very symmetrical uh, <laughs> kind of style. So that's kind of what we are going to do here uh, as well. So we are going to we are going to do those seven i think so what is that three four five six seven yes let's do that so the back toe seven uh front three yeah 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 and i'm gonna do the same with every other here just so i get the windows centered basically so the windows are centered when you look at it i kind of like that look uh Four, five, six, seven. <laughs> there we go. And let's just do that real quick. Uh, 
Um, the coordinates need to be solid. <laughs> Otherwise, the windows doesn't get centered. Um, but yeah, so in the... When you get in, instead of the coffer guy being right at the center, I am planning to have a big fireplace or a, a fireplace basically um, in the in the center instead. So that's the first thing that you kind of see when you get in. The door frame. So I'm gonna go with the, with, with the black eyes door frames, but. I am gonna use the... I am actually gonna use the arena doors. Uh, arena doors. Because I kind of love how that looks. Let's add two more rows of this. Here, I am gonna put down four bits of storm glass uh, wall, just four, and then uh, back to that. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. And then we want we can end it with this. And one more bit there, and that will conclude the front towers. Basically, that's what we want it to look like. There we go. And that's Dune. East Peace Lemon Squeeze. It wants to cooperate with me right now, I feel like. So this is the Black Eyes Reinforced Rooftop Cap. So that's the one we're gonna go with here because we're not gonna place anything up there. I want a fireplace and I've been playing around with crenellated wall. And this is where if you don't want the fireplace, you don't need to bother with the four squares or the Isle of Sita DLC at all. Uh, that is uh, vaulted ceilings. Vaulted ceilings. I love working with the vaulted ceilings to make like fireplaces. So we are gonna use the vaulted ceiling, storm glass vaulted ceilings corner. So we are gonna make a, a, a um, we're gonna make a, a fireplace out of that. So to trick um, these uh, pillars to be in a in in this not be snapping on the middle of a, of a foundation you put down uh, stairs and it will snap to where the stair ends uh, or yeah ends basically so you can trick it from going here to here also one tip for for you guys when you're building if you notice that something doesn't want to 
uh, like if you were to place, for example, the vaulted ceiling especially, if you place them first and then you want to place a, uh, um, a, a, a wall, for example, sometimes it doesn't want to do that. And what you do is that you place the wall first and then the vaulted ceiling. And in this case, you place the pillar first and then you place the... the uh, I notice that I can snap the black eyes, the same thing, reinforced crenellated wall, the crenellated wall, black eyes, snaps on two places, not only the regular snapping point on top, but also down below. So if I place two of them down there, and then, this is the magic, then you pick up the storm glass one, and you want to switch it out to a storm glass, you can do that. Let's do that. There we go. Wait, what the fuck happened there? What was that? Wow. I've never seen that. Okay, that was dramatic. Basically. But yeah, so that is the, um, this done. So let's go out and check on this. So I placed down... This took me a minute, you know, to angle these right and place them down to not have them... Um, snap to any of the foundations that was already down so if we place the black eyes here for example and then maybe we also use once again the arena one I kind of like that kind of like that so yeah don't mind that at all don't mind that at all we could see how it looks if we extend it not sure but we can check we can't have the crenellation on the back but let's see if we even notice that being gone so i'm just gonna pop down all the crenellation and speed through that so you don't have to look at all that all right that should be all of them oh we're gonna have uh these here here too yeah i think i like that that looks neat um so that will leave it looking like this when you enter kind of like that kind of like that i know i see the gates are being different heights it is the it is the issue with having ground that is not leveled you know right away when i look at this i feel like the foundation for for the ha for the building um looks a little bit like it is it is very much looking like two different materials so we are gonna place in a couple of these black eyes uh wooden fence foundation so we have two different snap points i think yeah one lower and one higher but i'm gonna go with the higher one because you see that it, it extends that the same shape as the windows I think uh or like the the wall bits so it kind of makes it all look very unified so I like that We can cover that bit at least. It's because we have the uh, the crenellation on on the foundation there. Uh, all right, pretty happy with that so far. So that is the build, and I'm really loving the arena style doors for the gates. I think I think it makes it look more like a gate actually. So what I am gonna do there, uh, I'm gonna use some movie magic and I'm gonna decorate it because that is gonna take me hours probably, po possibly, who knows. And um, I don't want to <laughs> have, you l <laughs> have you having to watch all that. So I'm gonna decorate it and I'm gonna place down some thralls and some skelly doggies and we can shake it out together afterwards. All right.
And that concludes my showcase of my spooky October Purge build. And thank you so hecking much for watching. And if you haven't already, I hope you leave a like and maybe a comment of if you yourself have a spooky build uh, for October planned or if you've already started one. And make sure to press that subscribe button to keep up with more content like this. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.